Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yogi Man here and welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager 2020 save here with FC20. Nailed it. In this episode, we're going to take on AZ. It's going to be really difficult. We've just had probably one of my most frustrating results of the save so far. It was very irritating, but let's get into what's happened off camera. Um, I'm also scouting every single player between the age of 15 and 17 I know that sounds a bit weird, but yeah, I'm scouting all those players because we are going to build an absolute wonder kid dream team. We're probably not. We don't have any money whatsoever, and I'm over the wage budget, but we'll see what happens. So, yeah, followed the Sparta defeat with another defeat and the worst performance we've had. It's the worst we've actually played, to be honest with you. Tiki Taka, I mentioned it at the start of the last stream. Not using it anymore. Uh, we've changed stuff up a little bit since this result, but yeah, this was really frustrating. It's the worst we've played... It all ended in a small period of time in the first half. And after that, nothing really happened. We didn't really do much to try and come back. I did try, but they were just so good going forward. They just kept punishing us. So I'm going to forget about this result as quickly as possible. So we bounced back after that with a victory against GVVV. I really do wonder what that stands for. I'm going to have to Google that after recording this episode. Uh, but yeah, Ignacio with a double and Vukic scoring. We've been playing him, uh, Vukic on the right wing as an inside forward. It's actually worked. He's played pretty well. I was like, yeah, I don't like him. He's rubbish. We're going to sell him. He's played quite a few games now and we're definitely going to keep him. They did score against us though, so that was a shame. But at this stage, we're kind of putting the pieces together for the new tactic um, which is not a world beater, but it just seems to work better than the Tiki Taka. Uh, we're less central now. We don't just congregate in the centre of the pitch. We actually use width and the wings. It's nice. We kept the good times going, boys. We beat PEC Zwolle. I don't know. That's probably not it. But Vukic scoring again, it was brilliant. Ignacio as well, he's back in the goal, so he's earned my favour again. He did well, and of course... You can see it right there, boys. Nasi got himself a goal. I feel like season one, and he's already progressing so much. I suppose the 20 determination will do that to him. I'd love it if he was a little bit quicker, but I've literally played him all over the pitch. That's an exaggeration. I haven't played him at defence yet, but we probably will try that at some point. Uh, but in this match, he actually came on, and I played him up front alongside Ignacio, and he got a goal. I, He's just... He's brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, and wonder kids... We beat VVV Venelo. I mean, there's a lot of letters in teams' names in this league. It's it's really confusing sometimes. But we won 3-0. We're in the goals. The formation was taking its toll. We were winning games. We were scoring goals. And Serrano got a double. Serrano playing on the left wing, scored two goals. I'm pretty sure they're both headers from corners. But he actually got man of the match as well. It's unbelievable. I mean, he doesn't look anywhere near as good as Nasi, I will admit that, but he just seems to be doing all right, and we don't actually have a ton of great wingers. Uh, that's why Vukic ended up playing on the right. We don't have tons of good wingers, so Serrano actually playing well and scoring goals is really good for us. Followed that up with a 1-1 draw against Fortuna Sittard. Rayleigh really should not have drawn this game. We just did not take our chances, and towards the end of the game, you know, that situation in FM where you 1-0 up, the game's going well, and you make ridiculous changes that completely change the formation, completely bamboozle the way the squad plays, and makes everything fall apart so that you concede a goal that you had no... You should have never, ever conceded this goal. That's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we did. Ignacio scored, and then... Oh, weasel. He scored... In the 80th minute after I went wingerless and did a really compact midfit. I don't know what I was doing. I was just thought, oh, this is really comfortable. I'm going to change some stuff. And then they had like four highlights in a row. We conceded. We're going to move on. We don't need to remember this game. Uh, it just gets bleaker. After that result, where we should have won... I mean, to be honest with you, this game's really frustrating because we actually played really, really well, which I didn't expect against Ajax. I thought this was going to be a little bit like Heravine, where I was just going to be like, oh, this is just a definitely bad defeat. But we actually played really well. They scored, Huntelaar, in the third minute, 
clean through. It's like my defence weren't even there. But then Vukic scored, and then Tadic scored, and then we equalised in the 75th minute. I did, I did it again. I did it again. I, I will never learn. I, I tinkered with the tactic to go more defensive, and they scored in the 86th minute, and that, that was all she wrote. I mean, it was a good performance from us. That's I, I've got to take that away from this game, haven't I, that we had a good performance against Ajax. We're recently promoted, and we had a good performance against Ajax. 3-2, a little bit of a goal fest. It's just one of them, innit? I need to stop tinkering. People are going to start calling me Claudio Ranieri. I need to stop tinkering around with the tactic when we're doing well. We found this lad as well, Carlos Sanchez. He's up on a free. I want to have him on trial a bit longer so I could learn more about him, see if that dribbling is more towards 15 and the finishing is more towards 16, the composure and so on and so forth. But he actually looks okay on a free transfer. So maybe we don't actually have any money, but I'm pretty sure we can go over by a little bit more. The finances are looking good and it's looking like we're going to have an okay season. And there's definitely a lot of dead wood because we have more than 12 players on the bench that we can get rid of that will hopefully benefit me hugely. Right, guys, so this is the formation we're going with now. It's exactly the same shape and formation. We've just tweaked some of the instructions a little bit, and they seem to be working more in our favor. This is the squad we're going with for today's game. I'm going to keep Vukic in the squad as he's been playing well. Hopefully, we can get a result. AZ a second. We've just lost a first. I'm not expecting anything from this type of game, so I'll just happily take maybe a draw. Let's get... If we're doing well in this game, I'm not going to change stuff, right? If we're doing well in this game... I'm not going to change stuff, and I'm just going to take the draw instead of constantly tinkering. We all know I'm going to tinker if I get the opportunity. I don't think you're actually a human being if you don't lie to yourself from time to time. They have a very good squad, and I'm nervous about them going forward. We've Calvin Stengs on the right, and Bodo up top. This is going to be rough. This is going to be really rough. Well, I suppose at least we're at home. Does that, does that do us any favours in this game? Does FM really treat home games like that? Well, if you're at home, you have like a an advantage. Maybe, yeah, I think FM probably does do that. Let's get off to a good start, boys, and not concede early like we did against Ajax. That's what I'm going to call them from now on. Early corner goal, boys. Early corner goal. Go on, Ignacia. Oh, ooh, he hit the post. Has he gone in? Oh, it's a corner. I thought it had gone in. Oh, this is a good start, isn't it? Ignacio again. What are you doing, Ignacio? So close. There's a rule of thumb against the bigger sides. We can't really afford to miss those kind of opportunities, can we? Come on, boys. Let's keep going. I'm starting to think maybe I have a bit of a live come curse. It's been a really dull start to the first half. Just that one highlight, really, to show you. Um, yeah. The Ajax game, or Ajax, uh, was way more exciting. Maybe should have done that for a live come, but I was pretty happy do quite fancy slipping in some ASMR when I can. Why not? You make a lot of money doing ASMR, I'm guessing. And Calvin Stengs puts it over, and that's what I like to see. Fine, not a winning 2-0. We've really been pushed down the league with the last few results, but it was expected. I'm not worried too much. Frank has picked up a little bit of an injury, though, and he looks like he's suffering from it. And we're going to suffer from that because we have Matos at left back. He's not very good. I was just going to say, we're doing the first half quite right, but they're going to score here, are they? No, Badu puts it over. Let's keep this up, boys. Tight in defence. Hit them on the break. We, in fact, we haven't hit them on the break at all yet, have we? This is our opportunity now. Busquets, you've got men. You've got men over. Okay, Let's just take our time. Dilly dally. That's the technique I'm looking for. This is better. Whip the ball in. Vukic. Oh, I thought Vukic was going to score then. I got really excited. Never mind. Can we get a corner goal? We are good from corners. Oh, wow. That was close. I don't know what I did there as well, but it was close. Free kick. We've got good headers of the ball. If it... Vukic. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Their goalkeeper's doing well, isn't he? Vukic again. N no, why did you... Why did you stand on the ball? Ignacio, why did you stand on the ball for so long? We are playing really damn well. We are playing really, really damn well. Come on, boys. Don't, no, no, no. Don't do this to me, Goodmanson. Well, in Espinosa, they seem like they're up for it. Dive. Okay. Okay. Cheers, FM. 
I mean, he's come in today for Serrano because Serrano had a bad game. And it's, it is, oh, it's a wonderful ball. It's a wonderful ball. Great pass. Well done. Pat on the back for getting them a goal just before half time. Go on, Espinosa. Awful. Awful. These live comms, they're too stressful. 1 0 at half time. Thanks to our left winger, on loan, of course, for playing a beautiful passing to, uh, to Bodu. Fantastic. And what's really frustrating is we've actually played pretty well. What's that, Rafik? Why are you, why are you being substituted? Idiot. I feel like if we just keep doing what we were doing in the first half, we can score a goal. We went close a couple of times. To be honest with you, we were the better team. We had the better highlights, but just you can't account for individual errors in this game, can you, Rayleigh? And that's exactly what Rafik did, and that's why he's not on the pitch. Vukic. Oh, he's been in that position a few times. He's been in that position a few times. Should have scored. So do you think Wood pushes down to seventh, but I suppose that's kind of where I expected us to be. In fact, I expected us to be lower. The board wants us to fight against, well, doesn't want us to fight, wants us to avoid relegation. Here we are having dreams about finishing in the top seven. They're moving the ball well now, aren't they? They've been passing the ball very slickly and nobody picks up Stengs and Badu scores his second. Sometimes this is just the way against the big teams, but we've actually played well again like we did against Ajax and just got absolutely nothing out of this game. And it's an awful attempt. Come on, come on. What is that, Matos? I said this, didn't I? He's awful. He's awful. I can't believe he missed that interception. It's a beautiful pass to Baudu, though, by Stengs. And that's what can happen when you... I pinpointed those two at the start of the game, and that's exactly what can happen when you've got that kind of talent. I'd love to bring Matos off, but I don't really have that option, do I? Just realised we've already made two substitutions. Me making another one before 60 minutes usually leads into an injury, which means we end up with 10 men on the pitch. I don't want to say we've been great this second half, but that's a bit better. Busquets, can we do it here? Yeah, it's been put in. Busquets puts it wide. He hasn't been playing great of recently. Although, he's had the odd good performance, to be fair to him. I feel like this game has literally been the better personnel wins. We've had the mistakes, two individual mistakes. Stengs, oh, great save, and then they score crossbar. Oh, my God, what just happened there? That was madness. I don't know how he kept that out. I don't know how he kept that out. We're going to go attacking. Why not? If you're going to lose, you might as well lose big, right? I like to think we've been moderately impressive against the bigger sides this season. We beat Feyenoord, didn't we? And then we lost to PSV Ajax and now AZ as Vukic puts that. Vukic has had the best chances in this game and he's missed them all. I was singing his praises at the start of the episode as well. Go on, Ignacio. Oh my God. Let's see what I mean. It is personnel. It's personnel. And that's going to change throughout the seasons as we shape and mould this uh, mould. Mould. Huh. Not a clue. Tell me in the comments section. Not a clue. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. I meant mold, mold like clay, not mold. You know, like the stuff on the ceiling when the when there's damp. Great, that's what two defeats in a row has driven me to. I'm talking about damp. Please don't let them score a third. He puts it over. Yeah. We've not really been good enough, have we? Especially since they scored the second. I probably happily take the 2-0 defeat now. If Vukic should uh, put the ball in the back of the net. Oh, Matos. Oh, you okay? Okay. He kind of makes up there, doesn't he, for that um for his mistake. Now if we could just get another one. This is pretty decent play. Adriano coming on the pitch as well. No one was marking him first time shot. Beautiful. Let's get one more, guys. Please. Well, I mean, there's positives to take. We were the better team in terms of having more shots. We They edged us out in possession, but only just. But we did have more tackles won, which is quite impressive for us. So I'm pretty sure we didn't against Ajax. I mean, again, we played one of the top sides and we've played well against them. We've played well against PSV, Ajax, um, AZ and Feyenoord. And... What more can I ask for, to be honest with you, season one when we've got the squad that we've got? I think if we had better finishes of the football, this would be a different result. 
a goalkeeper had five shots saved. I can't really complain with that. Um, what can I say? I'm going to say I can't fault your performances apart from Rafiq. Where are you? Can't get a 6.0 on my squad. So after those two results against the bigger teams, Ajax and AZ, it does leave us in seventh place. The table is very, very tight, to be fair. Um, but I'm okay with that. I feel like the teams in and around us and the smaller teams we can certainly compete against. In fact, I feel like we're actually stronger and better, especially in certain positions. So hopefully we can continue that run against the smaller teams and keep up picking, uh, keep on picking up victories that way. It's not the end of the world. What can you do? I mean, if we look at the schedule here going forward, hopefully we can turn that around against William too. And we do have the January transfer win, uh, window coming up. So maybe we come back at Utrecht and we can kind of go through what's been going on in January. If you guys know of any good young players, I am going to try and offload some players. I will look at them in January, but it's not a given. It's not a given that we're actually going to get them. Um, so yeah, also check out the new series that is up on the channel. It should be the Bolton series. Hopefully I've stuck to my word and it's up by now. Uh, go and check that out. It's a different format. We're doing it in much, um, bigger advances forward. However you word that. Also the Twitter and my Twitch will be down below. I stream on Twitch. I think that's pretty much it. I can only plug myself so much. Hopefully when we come back, it's better results and we can have a live come where we win. I hate it. Two live comes in a row with defeats. At least we performed okay. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.